Hey everyone, and welcome on back to Decidedly Vanilla. Last episode, we started building up the big old custom terrain that we're gonna be working on here. And it's turned out to be really, really cool so far. I'm really loving this project. We gotta get a bridge in here soon. But last episode, we built up these first cliffs and we put in our first shrine gateway, kind of leading up into the city. Today's episode, we're gonna be focusing on the gatehouse right up in this area. So it's basically gonna go right across this guy. I think we're gonna widen it out a little bit to make it fit in here just a little bit better, but we'll get to that here pretty soon. But in order to get all of this stuff going, we actually do need to go ahead and get some dark prismarine running. So I'll tell you guys what, I'm gonna go ahead and go find an ocean monument, do a little bit of raiding on that guy. I'll let you guys know when we find one, see if we can't find one nearby that we could eventually turn into a farm but I will see you guys as soon as I find one of those things. All right, welcome back everybody. We are back from the ocean monument and we got a lot of good loot going on here. You can see that we got the two and a half stacks of dark prismarine. We got a little over one and a half stacks of the prismarine blocks. And then we got four wet sponges. It was actually a double guardian temple, which was really cool. One of those ones Exumavoid found a little while ago. So that was a really cool find, but anyways, it's time that we go ahead and get up to that guy. I need to go ahead and grab some dirt and I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a blueprint here of what we want this guy to look like. Let me go ahead and do a little bit of thinking here because I haven't really done a whole lot about how I want this to actually look yet. So I'll be back with you guys real fast. All right guys, welcome back. If we take this thing off of the scale here for kind of the size it is, it's a three wide gateway, but I kind of want to go ahead and make it up here have this one, so this is five wide right now, but I really wanna try working with builds that are seven wide, at least for the gatehouse center. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of have the gate centered around these three blocks right here. Then we can probably go ahead and bring these back. I know we're using dirt here in an area that's full of dirt, so it's probably not the best idea, but we'll go ahead and bring them back like that. And then we can go ahead and bring you back here as well. And that'll kind of bring it out to that way. I'm totally okay with terraforming this area again and kind of reworking it. But I was thinking something like this could be kind of cool to have as like our central gate area. And then let's see, that has a height of five. So if we came up one, two, so we're basically going off of here. So that'll be, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And then let's go ahead and do six. And then here in the middle, we're gonna have like a one wide beam that basically goes straight across here like a so and then i want to go ahead and leave a little bit of a gap in this guy and do another beam kind of across here like this kind of how we have that gap going right there and i think it's going to look pretty freaking cool this uh gatehouse structure is supposed to be pretty ornamental and kind of on the taller side because of the scale and size that it'll be at so i just want to see how big is this guy going to be if we take a step back here that's actually not terrible that's really not as tall as i thought it would be okay perfect so that works out great so we'll do that. Then these guys out here are going to be kind of like, I'm thinking like a cobblestone wall kind of going up there, kind of getting a little bit of gray into this guy could actually be really, really cool. And then we do some, th maybe not, because that would make that look really, really skinny, unless we brought this out to being like a full block. Yeah, that could work. So we can bring this out to being like a full block right here. And then on top of these guys though, so now we have the second point here. And at this point, I wanted to go ahead and see how wide is our actual gate. If we started bringing out, say, like skip two and then skip two, so we do something like that, and we basically bring these guys all up another one and kind of have this looping out here a little bit. Um, and then we can go ahead, so we have the plan right like this. And I, I was talking to Sausage earlier, just trying to figure out plans for like if we want to build any shops or things yet. Um, let's see here. What I wanna have it come out like this, and then I wanna basically have one of those roof designs kinda of like we had on the bottom of that guy, but more arching up. So it'll kinda of come down, and then, ooh, that's gonna hurt. But yeah, so kinda of like that, where it goes straight across here, down, and then back up a little bit, and then we'll have a smaller roof in the middle of it, and then a, another smaller roof on top. So I wanna do like three layers of roofs. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of this plan in here, guys, cause I got a lot of messing messing around here to do to kind of figure out everything. I think I need to actually go ahead and get a little bit more nether rat or nether brick going here than what we have, as well as a, probably a little bit more dark coat because we only have two stacks. Let me go and get all that stuff gathered up and I'll be back with you. Hey everyone, and welcome on back to the best dirt outline I think I've ever done for a build. This is it guys, this is our outline here. 
Oh my, this thing will make no sense to you guys, but it actually makes a lot of sense for me for what I want to be adding in here. And I got basically what I think it might be enough blocks here to get us going. Uh, but for starters, we want to go ahead and bring all this stuff back into here and make our roadway just a little bit wider here. So we have a little bit more room to work with because obviously we got to be bringing this guy up here and the roads can be coming back this way. And I want to stretch out back along the back here, just quite a bit here. We can go and leave that guy right there for now. But anyways, what we're going to go ahead and do is the frame for this guy is mostly going to be made out of dark oak. I've decided that this wall is going to be kind of like an ornamental looking wall. And there's something going off in the kitchen. I don't know. New sounds in the apartment. Still getting used to them. <laughs> but yeah, so... This is going to be more like an ornamental wall like I was talking about. Uh, we can go ahead and break this guy going all the way down here as well. And we need to go ahead and get all the way down to the base. And, oh uh, man, how, I think this part right here I wanted to go ahead and bring it actually all the way down. So we can get rid of that guy and bam. And then we can go ahead and that'll be boop, boop. And bring this guy all the way up here to the top. These new mechanics with the 1.13 blocks or 1.13 it's kind of the new mechanics here with the 1.13 blocks is kind of hard to get used to doing everything oh we missed it okay so anyways there's that guy right there let's see can we actually go ahead and jump up on you nope that's not gonna work jump up on you like this and then bam and bam and get you okay so now we can go ahead and bring in our nether brick and i wanted to do like a little bit of a guy right across here i was thinking this could be kind of a cool way of doing it basically incorporating a little bit of that design that we had going on down there with that kind of arch bit i want to keep that consistent arch shape design going across the whole area because i really really like that one um i think we can get some cool stuff going with it but you can see right now not not right here not right here not right here at all right here we're kind of getting that little bit of that shape going on there you can see that general shape coming in right there and what i want to do above this guy if we can go ahead and get all of our stuff back and jump all the way up here we're still running really low on materials so i want to be really cautious about how much we're actually using and then i want to go ahead and do bam like that and then bam 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 and then we can do one on the end and bam and that kind of helps bring this in and solidifies the general gap area right in there i think it's going to give us a really cool look you can see that general archway right there beyond that for starters kind of where i'm at with this guy is I know for a fact that I want to go ahead and bring in some stone brick right around here and do a little bit of a base design like this. And then at the corners on these, we're going to go ahead and do some stone brick just to kind of help round it out. Something like that just to give it a little bit more of a fortified look like a castle gate feel type thing going on here. Then that'll actually also lead us into our next point. So let's see, where does this guy go up? That's right there. And we can go ahead and get rid of you right like that. That's actually not one. So we can actually go ahead and place that dirt back in here. Um, right here, though, this is where we're going to have another one. And can we get rid of that block? Nope, not quite yet. Can we get rid of it now? Yep, we can. Perfect. So we can go ahead and do this. And bam, and bam, and ah, we're going to do a full block right there because it's going to be running into the dirt. That right there is the general idea. Let me go ahead and sleep the night away, get a little bit more work done. I think I'm going to focus on this guy for a little bit and try and come up with something here. General ideas right now is I think we're going to go ahead and do something. Ah, why are we Why are we wasting more wood? We can go ahead and just do it like this. Bam, 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 and bring these guys up just a little ways. I think that's that's probably a good high right there. We'll go ahead and leave that guy right here for now. Let me go ahead and get some work done. Actually, no, we want to, I think we want to go ahead and bring this out. Uh, let me mess with this a little bit. All right, guys, welcome back. So I think I got a pretty decent design in my mind going on here for what this guy's gonna end up looking like. You can see we got these kind of boxy walls going up on both sides, kind of just fortifying the area. I decided to go ahead and bring the stone brick out another one so we get a little bit more depth into this guy. But anyways, what we're going to be doing right now is we need to go ahead and jump up to the top of this one. So we're going to go ahead and go all the way right up here. And so that we can start working on the first layer of the roofing. I decided that I want to go ahead and do the roofing in kind of three different layers. I think I briefly talked about that beforehand. Do those not show up in there? Oh, they show up in here. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do just one more to help clear up that extra stack in our inventory. And then we need to go ahead and get our nether brick stairs as well. And what we can do here is basically we're going to start out with bringing this guy up to here and then go down here. And then we need to do some dark prismarine stuff right like this. 
And these guys are basically going way along this way. All right, sorry for the cut there, guys. A bunch of super loud cars went by, so I figured I should probably cut that out. But anyways, I ended up fixing this part up here, and we went ahead and made it so it started online with that uh, log there before, instead of starting one forward, and then we bring it out one, bring it up one, and then put a stair on it facing outwards. And that should be pretty good for that guy. Basically, what we're gonna do from there is we go ahead and kind of bring these guys in by three, and this whole area right along these guys, we can go ahead and just kind of do a little bit of action right like that. I do want to go ahead and see if we can't smooth this out a little bit with some prismarine stairs in here, maybe. Let's just go ahead and make, I don't know, we'll, we can do like 24 of those. That should be more than enough. But we can go ahead and kind of dot this guy in right there. And then that kind of helps us bring this side part out a little bit more onto here. And then we can go ahead and do the little side bit right there and bam bam and then bring the center part up right there maybe that could kind of work for really sloping this out and then to kind of help bring this area in connecting going all the way around we can go ahead and bring this guy kind of all the way around like that then bring these guys down and that should be pretty good for a general center layer right here let me go ahead and mess with this guy a bit and i'll be back with you guys once i have a little bit of a better design here for how this thing should be looking in the end for one too many times the sun is starting to go down here, guys. But let's go ahead and jump off this guy. And I wanna give you guys a little bit of a glimpse here of what we're looking at, because it's starting to look really, really cool. As you can see, I went ahead and added some gold blocks there into the center. We're gonna get a much better view from way, way back here, I think, because we got the second layer of the roof on in place here. And oh my gosh, I really like that. You can see kind of we got that, that roof's gonna be going out that way. That one's gonna be going out that way for the wall designs. Then we got that roof right there. We'll do another one on top of it. And then we'll do another last one on top. Let's turn our field of view down to 30 and you can kind of get a better view of this guy. We're gonna do a cool little ornate, ornate design in there. Let me go ahead and sleep the night away guys though and I'll be back with you so we can go ahead and, ooh, Silent Whisperer's doing it. Oh, perfect, I love this guy. Okay, let me go ahead and jump up here real fast and we'll be able to see what this guy's gonna be looking like. Okay guys, welcome back. So we're up here on top now. And what we want to do is I'm thinking this will look really, really cool if we go ahead and do a little bit of a design right like this. And then I brought up a chiseled quartz block. I was thinking this guy could be super cool in here. And then we can go ahead and bring in some of our quartz slabs and do a little bit of a design like they're almost holding this chiseled quartz block in here. I think it's going to be really, really cool. What we want to do here on the front of this guy, though, is start to bring these little bits of extra wood bits in here. It's kind of introducing them into the build and we got some fences there to just kind of smooth that out going downwards. And then since we're up here on the top, we can go ahead and just throw these around here on the back. I think it's gonna turn out to be pretty freaking cool. Code is really wanting in the background. Girlfriend went up to the gym and it's the worst thing ever because mom's gone and he's panicking and oh my gosh, it's so bad. But anyways, what I wanted to see if we could do was jump right up here on this guy and basically right across this point, we gotta figure out what we're gonna be doing. Basically, these guys right here is more or less gonna turn into just a nether brick line, I'm thinking. Something like that'll be really good. Well, guys, I realized that I forgot to hit record again. I went to go make sure that Koda was quieted down and doing okay over there, and I forgot to hit record. So this whole top area up here is pretty much finished up. And I want to go up here and show you guys what it's looking like now. It's looking really, really awesome. I'm really happy with this. Sorry for the background noise right now because this video is supposed to be going out tomorrow. And it's traffic hour and I still got to edit it up and do everything like that. I did go ahead and do a little bit of extra work getting some torches around and some sugar cane farm. I would love to go ahead and make that base layer where the island is right there. Current one covered in torches and so it's safe down there when we want to say create some farms or something when we're going around. So I think that's something we can work on. But anyway, we've got the upper area right here. We added these little fancy bits up to the sides to make it a little bit more spiky. Got that guy right there to give it just some extra detail. Then we got all this cool stuff kind of coming down to the different points. And I really, really love this. The whole view from this thing is starting to look really, really, ooh, I always forget that you can now knock yourself off to the sides of these just because of the way the falling mechanic works. I really love this guy and I think it's gonna be great as like an ornamental gate. I don't really want to have this place be like super fortified, but I want to make it look really, really cool. So I actually like the idea of leaving this guy open. We're gonna put some doors on the other side that are just gonna kind of remain open 
just to make it look really cool, but it'll be like doors that are not meant to ever be closed. But anyways, that's what we got right here so far. Let's do that field of view trick to zoom in here a little bit. And as you can see, it's starting to look really, really cool. I love the design we have going on here. That little bit up there at the top, I think really brings it together. But what's making this guy look real awkward right now is only the front half is done. I'll tell you what guys, let me go ahead and build up the back half of this guy and I'll be back with you. We can throw those gates on and call it a day. So I'll go build that back half up and I'll be back with you soon. Hey everybody and welcome on back. Our gatehouse is now completely built up and I was actually just traveling back over from Sausages Island. I was on top of that mountain over there and oh my gosh, this thing from a distance looks so freaking cool. We won't walk all the way back over there, but I am really, really loving this build right now. Look at that thing. Oh man, I'm so happy with this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. We got a few last things that we're going to be doing here real quick before we end this episode off because I want to go ahead and throw in like a small pond right in here. I was thinking about it. I was like, we need a little bit of like a water feature or something. So I was thinking we could go ahead and almost do something like right in, just right in here or something. Just do a little bit of a pond to start doing our water features, start getting little bits of detail added into the world. I feel like there's a there's a good amount of stuff that we're like prepping up, but we really got to start finishing all the little extra bits and things like that. All the bits and bobs throughout the world, I feel like we really got to start finishing these guys off and nailing them down here. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of start by just digging all this stuff down here and then bring in all of our dirt, fill this stuff in, and then we can just do something like this and kind of make it an off-centered one. Then I got a bunch of buckets here. I uh, know we want those on the hot bar. Uh, we can fill in the bottom here, get our water back, and do stuff like this and start filling in the top bits. Hopefully this shape of this guy won't be too bad here. Uh, but we can go ahead and just make a bunch of water and add in a bunch of extra stuff throughout here. And then that should basically fill in everything. Cool, perfect. Then we can do that and then get these guys all back to being, what, what four stacks or one stack of four. And then I feel like we're going to be using a lot of lily pads throughout our build here. All right, throughout the throughout the entire build, I feel like we'll be using a lot of these guys because I think they're going to fit in really, really well with what we're going to be adding in here. So I did go ahead and bring in some bone meal over here, and I wanted to start just kind of adding little bits of grass and things like that throughout the area. Uh, we are going to come back, obviously, and do some trees, and I really want to try and figure out how we can do, like, bamboo and stuff and figure out the flowers and that we want to be using in the area. So for those of you guys who stuck around to the last episode, what type of flower should we be using here? Do we want to go with a lot of like lilacs, peonies? Or I, I like my two tall flowers a lot myself, but we need some good one tall ones as well. Um, so if you guys have any ideas on that, be sure to let me know. But beyond that, how we're going to be finishing this episode off here is I just want to show you guys what we got going up here. We'll go, I'll go ahead and do a little bit more work on that guy right here just for now, just to get a little bit of grass and detail it up a little bit more, you know, so it looks really cool. But yeah. We got the awesome gatehouse. I know we said originally we weren't going to do any type of gate system on it, but I kind of changed my mind. I want to go ahead and actually we're just going to go ahead and bring you guys right back here. And what we're going to do is basically bam, 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 and bam, right there. And then that'll be bam, bam, and bam, bam. So that kind of shrinks this area. How is that? Oh, these guys are off. Uh, I want to go ahead and basically just shrink the area down just a little bit so it kind of narrows itself and gives us a much better sight line looking out the place. So it'll be kind of like this. So there'll be two gates. I, I think those would, what, that, that'd come to here, those two would go to there, that'd go to here, and those two would go to there. So that, that would actually fit. No, would that? No, we'd have one wide in the middle. Whatever, that's totally fine. These are never going to be meant to close. I wanted to go ahead and basically just bring them up to here. And then we can do this guy like that should, we probably want to do this last little bit of height right there on him. And then we're going to turn all these into the strip log so that they just look a little bit different than our actual gate itself and the actual build, just so it has its kind of own texture to it. So we can go ahead and take our X and eat a fish and then bring this stuff all the way down. And I think it's going to add a really cool effect to it. And we could go ahead and do extra designs in here with some fences and whatnot. So, you know, I might, I might actually go out and grab some fences and see what we can do with this guy. But yeah, that's pretty much what I want to do for today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I think it's going to be looking really, really freaking awesome as we're finishing up this whole thing. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I did. I'm really loving the style. I really, really can't wait to see where we're going to go with it. I have so many ideas going through my head right now. Ooh, I do like that. I think that really helps kind of bring it all in here together. Let's do our old zoom 
zoomy zoom trick right there because optifine is on its way alpha literally just released a few days ago so hopefully it'll be out soon but anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's episode please hit that like button if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new and i will catch you on the flip side